The Wildcats are coming off of a split series against the Catamounts last weekend with a tough loss on Friday, final score 5-2. Came back strong with a big win Saturday, final score 6-3. Ben, can you tell us what this win means for the Wildcats moving forward? This was a monumental win for the Wildcats. Moving forward, they can take a lot from it. Friday night did not go their way. It was one of the most dismal performances by the Wildcats this season. But for Saturday night, they came out firing with that next guy up attitude. Andrew Podorowski, the freshman who's had a wonderful year. He put up two goals and he had a couple of assists throughout the weekend. The Wildcats can build off of this because they gave it all they got and they've been doing that all season. But now this is the one that everyone's been looking forward, especially for the team. They circled this one on the calendar, the Boston University Terriers, top dog in Hockey East, 12-2-2. Two and two. Uh, led by Jack Eichel, the freshman, who's put up 43 points, which is absurd for a freshman. You know, prospectively, he's going to go one or two in the draft. So the Wildcats defensively have to give it all they got from Pesci down, and whoever's in net with uh, Tyrone or Clark has to play the best game of their season. But Kyle Smith said it best in this press conference that this could be a statement weekend for the Wildcats, that they can keep up with any team in Hockey East. And moving forward with about three weeks left to go before playoffs, this could be huge. I'm looking forward to it. Wildcats have a tough weekend ahead of them as they take on top-ranked team BU, hoping to ride the momentum of last Saturday's win into these coming matchups. Uh, Friday was not the result we wanted, and uh, we didn't think we played as well as we could have. Obviously, uh, Vermont's a pretty good team, too. Pretty highly ranked and had some uh, a good record this season. And uh, that Saturday game was, was huge for us. Um, going down, going with the early lead and then getting getting down 3-2 in the second period when you kind of feel like everything's falling apart. But we came back in the third and really pushed and made a uh, big effort from a lot of different guys contributing. So it was a real positive period and something we can build off of going into this weekend. So how, how the team responded in the third period, I give them a lot of credit. Uh, it was a next, next guy up attitude, you know, do the job kind of thing. And they played a great third period to win an important game, a real character win. I told them that after the game. I thought it was one of the better ones we've had in a while. A key player the Wildcats have to look out for this weekend is top NHL prospect Jack Eichel, who has been sensational for the Terriers this season. He's the real deal. I mean, just watch him on tape, it's scary how good he is. His stick handling is incredible, and he can control it with a lot of speed, strength. And he's, he's got career-like awareness on the ice. I think his deception of speed, he, it doesn't look like he's, he's skating really much, but like it's effort, effortlessly his stride, he, he's fast and he goes by guys and you don't even notice it. And then he's really strong on the puck and it's hard to knock him off. Boston University, obviously they're uh, top in Hockey East right now. Uh, pretty excited for it's a kind of a statement weekend. Three weeks out from playoffs, we can kind of, they're the top dogs and we're sort of towards the bottom, we can uh, make a statement for ourselves and come out and uh, sh show, show the league where we can, we can contend for a title here and we're not any less than them and we can, we can play with them and we can beat them. So it's, uh, it's an exciting weekend and a big opportunity for us. The Wildcats really have to bring it this weekend and they know that they can. It's going to be tough without their senior Grayson Downing. He went down with an ankle injury. Hopefully they get him back by the end of the season, if not at least playoffs. But the Terriers are the best in the league right now, and the atmosphere around the locker room is the Wildcats can keep up with any team in this league. They're not afraid, and this is a pivotal matchup because if they come out of here with a win, maybe even a tie, whatever the case may be, if they play their best hockey, people will notice, and the Wildcats are looking forward to the matchup. Tune in as the Wildcats head to BU this Friday at 7 p.m. and come back home this Saturday at 7 p.m. after a three-week road trip. For Ben Nahn, I'm Kelsey Campbell, UNH Wildcat Productions.